Hey guys, today I'm making episode 1 design of making a web browser, okay? So, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to first go to File, New, Project, Windows Classic Desktop, Windows Forms Application, um, I'm just going to name this YouTube, and click OK. Nope, never mind, it's loaded. <laughs> and, um, we're just going to name this. Um, whatever you put in text is what it will show at the top of the page. Like up here, it shows Microsoft Visual Studio. It's, this is what it's going to show. So we're just going to name it YouTube Web Browser. And now it says YouTube Web Browser. And we're going to go down into Properties and set the size to 1,200 by 700. Then we're going to set the minimum size to 1,000 by 600, like th like so. Now we're going to go into Toolbox and get a web browser. No, we're not going to get a web browser yet. Sorry, not going to get a web browser yet. We're going to go to um, Toolbox again. We're going to get a Tab Manager, Tab Control. I mean. What we're going to do with this tab control is stretch it across the screen, like so. And we are going to, inside tab control, go to tab pages, pages collection, and then remove. Only once, not remove both. And we'll only have tab page 2 right here. At the top, we're going to leave some space for... um for our a uh, few options later but we're going to get a web browser and in the web browser we're going to get to this arrow once we've clicked it and press unlock and parent container then you're going to want to spread it across the entire tab control until it's almost across the entire thing except the top right here the top is where we're going to put the controls now, we're almost done with the design steps, but first, we're going to have to get a group box. What this group box will do is it will help us con um, contain our things in multiple tabs. Now, I'm only going to show you making five tabs in this, and this is just design. The episode three will be about tabs, but... um. Now we're going to have to at, grab only one button, only one combo box, and that's all actually. Now over the button you're going to copy it, um, copy, and then here you're going to click paste. I use a shortcut so I'm just going to paste it like that, but um, actually let's, yeah. So then you're going to resize this until it only shows the B. Once it only shows the B, we're going to change that to this symbol. Then we're going to change, then we're going to make this one only show the B and change it to that symbol. Then, of course, we are going to, um, first of all, let's just do that. We're going to make a refresh button right here going to make a button that says refresh. So we're going to change the text to refresh. Then here we're going to make get another button. This one will say um home. This one, oh wait, copy and paste this one again. This one will say go. And this one will say search. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So here this is going to show search and besides that and at the end here we're, right here we're going to put home and next to home we're going to put refresh. Let's just then we're going to just spread these out, pretty simple, right? And once these are spread out, we will stretch this combo box all the way across the screen like so. And it will be like that. Inside the combo box, we will make it no text. 
just okay this is how our design is going to be for episode one i hope you enjoyed the video and the coding video will start in a minute goodbye